Stone lifting has become really popular lately. Whether you use real stones like what you see out here in the desert or whether you have man-made stones. Now Atlas stones are pretty expensive to buy. Even if you go to a stone place and purchase your stones, you're going to put out a lot of money. And instead of having a light one, a medium one, a heavy one, a super heavy one, I'm going to show you a cheap, inexpensive way of get to lifting these stones and little implements you could add to it. You can increase the intensity tremendously before you have to pick up a 250 or even a 300 pound stone. So right here is a ball of cement has a one and a half inch pipe in it and this only weighs 64 pounds but if you've never done any stone lifting before this is the way to start so I'm just going to show you a couple of different lifts different variations use a little creativity use some of our pro fitness bands some of our primal chains and you've got it made you'd save a lot of money get a lot of strength to start with just grab the stone do not try to go down too low. It's very much like a deadlift. Keep your legs out wide, push your knees out, and you just do a simple little lift. Then drop the stone. Do not lower the stone. This is a concentric exercise. From that point, you could lower yourself even more. You want to be sure you get a good footing wear shoes that are really uh, strong on the grip. You bend a little bit further over, keep it under your chest, under your belly, lift it up, take it, drop it. Now, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that I love doing back work. I love to exaggerate it. So once you get those positions strong, it's time to get really low. The shoulders should drop below the hips, feet out wide. You want to spread the ground with your feet, push your knees out, activate the glutes. And remember, take a deep breath of air into the stomach and hold it. Now this is pretty light for me. I usually start out with a 129 pound ball and work my way up. But to show you what can be done with a 64 pound ball, you see I have some bands here, got a bar. The reason we put a pipe in here, so we can take a bar, insert it. This only weighs about 15 pounds. And look what you have there. From this, you could add chains. Put the chains on. We've got two 25 pound chains here. So now we have an additional 50 pounds. Nice thing about it is when the weight's low, most of the chain is on the ground. As we elevate, it follows the natural strength curve. We add 50 pounds at the top, only about 10 pounds at the bottom. Now there are many different combinations you could use here chains, bands, you could even put your plates on. You'd slide 10 pound plates on here or 25 pound plates. On a setup like this, you could easily add enough weight to go over 250 pounds. That saves a lot of money because everyone has a bar, everyone has some plates. The next thing to do to add tension is use one of our fitness bands. Two ways of doing this. One is to put it under your feet, keep your feet wide, band around the neck. You want your arms to come to the inside. Again, you want to get down low, as low as you could possibly get. Lift, and as you come up, the band increases in tension. Now another way of doing this, you could wrap the band around the bar. Now you have two little loops. You could put your feet through it and do the same thing. Now you have considerably more tension.
Get your wide stance, push your knees out, get way down low, way down low. As low as you could get, lift as you come up and drop. So there you have a new added level of intensity. You could also keep the band under your feet, put chains on it, put plates on it. Take one of our bigger bands and once again, put this under your feet, get down way low. And you could execute the same type of move. Whether this yellow band is under your feet or not, you've got this action going. So there you have several variations 